Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been such a long time since I filmed something, but also since I sat here, you know, with the mirrors behind me. It's super grey outside as it always is, so again I think I'm going to look like a little moonhead, but we're just going to roll with it. So today, you'll see by the title, um, I'm going to do a review of Megan Grubb's Bow and Tea Collections, and I say shuns because um in terms of the first collection i didn't actually buy anything but that was like it was like a valentine's collection and i'm not sure how much input she had on that but the last two collections oh my god by the way i've i don't know why i've just distracted myself then i just realized how orange my hands look on the camera so i tinted moisturized not that you can tell by this side of my body but by this side so ignore it anyway <laughs> so the last two collections that she did I think they're just called Megan Grubb by Bow and Tea but the first one was like a sunset kind of vibe you know like the different colours and then this time it's the Beyond Colours which is Megan's um, fitness app uh, which if you don't know it's like a light blue clouds you know cute so we're going to go over the pieces that I've bought because I obviously just bought them bought some from the last launch now if you haven't got anything from the last launch I think think don't quote me on it because obviously i don't have any contacts with anyone there um but i think there's going to be a bit of a restock because what happened with my order was i ordered the gray leggings in the petite size and i ordered on the early access within four minutes of it launching and they ran out of stock for it so i don't know how many different pieces that's happened to i don't know um how many do you know because it's like regular and the colors and then there's all the different pieces so i'm not sure how many different items that happened with or whether it was just the gray um so i thought i would film this video anyway and get it up because then if you did want to get anything and there was a restock then you would have an idea because i was going to wait for the leggings but i think we'll just go with it you know it's fine um so what i've got is i've got some comparative pieces and i've got the new pieces and then the sunset color um so now you're gonna think frankie you don't need any more gym clothes but i disagree <laughs> you know I don't, I've, I've got a clip of my gym drawer um it's so me and jordan obviously share this room and this wardrobe and you know i feel like i need two gym drawers okay i've kept doing this little clip because i honestly don't know where i'm gonna put it all but this set i have the purple because I've, and my justification for buying this when it launched was that I don't have anything in this colour. But now, I'm like, this is one of my favourite sets. So, what am I going to do? Just overwear it until it gets like, I mean, I've not had any pilling or anything. But, you know, if it started to get damaged or anything started to go loose. Or my nana, if my nana did something to it in the wash, what am I going to do? So, I just thought, well, just buy the whole Beyond collection. Duh. Anyway. <laughs> So I'm going to put in the try on clips, I don't know if I'm going to do um, talk while I'm wearing them or whether I'm just going to wear them, however I am running out of time, I'm going for pie, but pie Sunday dinner, amazing. Um, so yeah I need to get ready in literally 10 minutes, hello? It's me. Oh yeah. Um. Can't see you, you're in the dark. Oh, pie minutes is closed. What? Yeah, they rang me. I'm not going for pie. <laughs> <laughs> so Prime Minister, have no power and now I'm not going for pie. I think I just said that in the last clip, but I'm saying it again because I'm really sad about it. <sighs> Standard Sunday dinner it is then. Anyway, where was I up to? I always go out on a whim with these videos, by the way, because I don't plan them. <laughs> I just kind of see how I'm feeling at the time. Um, but I'll put in a clip of me wearing this in the gym. Um, as well as the try on clip because it is literally one of my favourite sets. Now, I personally feel that this material, I haven't got any other gym wear from any other brand in this sort of material. So, can you see? It's like, it's, it's ribbed but not ribbed. So, this is, you can see on the bottom there, that's what like a normal, God, can I do it? This is what a normal ribbon would look like and then that's the material of the legging. I honestly genuinely hope you could see that because I have no idea. Um, or like you can tell on the waistband, 
you can see from the waistband to the material of the legging it's not the same so I've tried to find some pieces in my gym collection that would be most similar so that I could compare so this is a old bow and tee top from when they first started making gym wear so I don't know if you can see it's much i'm gonna say rougher it's not rougher but this is a much more ribbed and rougher material than this it's like smooth and silky can you see the difference i hope you can um so yeah i just i don't even know how to explain it it's got kind of similar um this is a really pale color so can you see that little triangle of ribbing underneath that goes obviously under your boobs to contour the boobs so it's quite similar in those aspects of like where the ribbon goes on the bum like round and under and obviously this is the same on the new collection as well like you can just see the differences in the materials the bits that are ribbed and you know compressive to the bit that is like stretchy but it's honestly so smooth like I can't it's not as thin as my amplifies but I've got this pair of leggings here hold on because I feel like I'm gonna sneeze god Ooh. that was such an aggressive sneeze you know when they come out of nowhere and they're just like here you go have a sneeze that's how it feels so again you'll be able to see a complete difference here um will you be able to see it you can see this one is much silkier and almost shinier than this one these are quite old though so that could be part of the problem like the colors kind of just dimmed a little bit but i would say this is the most similar feel but this is much lighter and silkier and stretchier than these and these are more compressive in the actual material not the ribbing i would say the ribbing on the waistbands is very similar gosh so those are my Lazuli leggings, um, seamless leggings, which are an absolute staple and also a very similar price to these. Um, that's one thing I wanted to mention, actually. The reason that I did spend so much is because I just feel like it's such a good quality price. Like, for what you're getting, Jesus, you know? It's such good quality prices for the actual quality of the material and the gym wear. So... Where else do we go now? Flipping heck, I'm just so overwhelmed. I just don't even know what to say. I haven't tried any of this new collection on yet, so I'm very excited. And I'll be able to film the clips now because I'm not in a rush to get to the train station. So, let's talk through some of the features. Um, so, obviously, the leggings, I would say, are most similar to those Lazuli ones. However, honestly, if you don't have this flipping fabric guys get it like <laughs> i don't want to promote anyone and this is obviously not paid it's not sponsored but go and buy a pair of these leggings go and buy <laughs> you know it's not me saying it but just go if you if you're trying to save money maybe don't go but also just do it <laughs> i don't want to be a bad influence and you obviously don't ever have to buy anything and you definitely don't need me to tell you to buy it because i am the worst person for buying things somebody's like oh i don't know if i should buy these i'm like buy it hun anyway i feel like i get weird at every video and i'm so sorry about it um so the main difference on these leggings to any other leggings that i've had before is the booty contour so it's the same color so it's subtle in that aspect however how hilarious does that look when it's not like <laughs> on your body like what's this little weird it looks like, you know, a chimpanzee when they have bare bum cheeks. That's what it looks like. I, I remember seeing it and thinking, gosh, that can't be, that can't be good. And then you see them on and it's like, wow, that is so good, you know? So it's a subtle sort of contour and detail. I wonder what it looks like on the black, actually. I've not looked at any of this yet. Um, so you can barely tell on the black that it's there, especially. So this ribbon, it kind of just like, is tighter around your cheeks and it just makes them round and peachy which you know is just typical Megan and then there's the scrunch bum which is there and when you stretch it out like it's not that stretchy but it's not like an aggressive scrunch like if you see it on the inside you can't even flip and see it let me see if you can see it better in another colour but the, the fact that you can't see it is a good thing by the way I'm trying to say it's good 
because it's not like it's not an aggressive scrunch you know there's no like excess material where it's been sewn inwards and it doesn't like ride up aggressively and you barely even know it's there in the session oh my gosh do you know what also i never adjust these i'm never like pulling them back up i'm never like moving the material around the bum bum trying to make it more comfortable like it they just sit perfectly like i'm not i'm not biased but because i have a lot of a lot of gym brands but they just sit so comfortably and perfectly um again the compression on the waist is just just really good it just sucks you right in it doesn't like bag at the top you know sometimes it's like here but then the top goes kind of like loose and kind of flicks off your waist a little it doesn't do that i'd say it sucks you in really well and it's not too long either like i'm not very tall however these are the petite leggings so maybe that's why um but apparently regular in the bow and tee Megan Good collections, I don't know about the other collections because I haven't shopped them. Um, but apparently regular is like recommended for taller. So it's not like tall, it's like regular. So like over 5'7 maybe, I think she said. Um, and the petite ones are for obviously if you're shorter. Um, so I'm 5'3. So petite I went for and they fit perfectly. I don't think the waistband's too long. I love this tight ribbing cuff on the ankle because i think i said in my last video it really irritates me i have one ankle like fatter than the other <laughs> i don't know i don't know why i don't know what's there one's just a cankle and one's not because ever know i had joggers or not not my jeans so much because they kind of stay put don't they all like leggings on one it just slips down more than the other and i just don't know why but we don't have that problem with these um so yeah, what else did I want to say? Um, I bought the black set because, right, I watched Megan's sort of, what sort of video was it? She was just telling you about it, you know, what it, what it is, all the colours, showing you them on. And she wears these not for the gym. And I thought, I don't have any black leggings that I don't wear for the gym. You know, like when you was a kid and you used to wear the black leggings from Primark? But obviously this is not Primark, you know? So I feel like I'll be able to wear these with like some more casual outfits. But then I also thought they were really good for, you know, when you just feel like mm, a bit meh and you just want to wear all black because it's like sleek and like contouring and slimming. And then it's not like a catch your attention colour because it's all black and you just kind of want to blend in, you know, like when it's your time of the month and you just feel like, don't look at me huns. But then also black is like so classy and sassy at the same time. So I feel like it's just a vibe check for whatever the vibe is. I'm going to like mic drop the leggings. <laughs> well. Um, so. I'm pretty good. All the labels are, are still on. You'll notice. Um, and the reason that I've done this is because. I haven't tried them on yet. But also the only thing I'm not sure of is the shorts. Because when I saw them on Megan and she's taller than me. Um, they come down, they look quite tiny here, but they come down really far on her legs and like, I have the world's longest quads, so if I, not just quads, like my actual femur bone is really long, so if I wear these sort of shorts, I have to hike them up a bit, but I wasn't sure what this material would look like or how it would affect the bum scrunch when they're like scrunched up. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe not. So I don't want to make it look like I've got like really long quads and then like tiny little shin bones. I didn't want to accentuate that. So I was interested to see what these would look like. Um, so I'll put both of the shorts on so we can see the colours. Um, what else do we have? I feel like I'm flying through this today, guys. I'm just flying through it, she says. This one's 10 minutes and I've already had, you know, another clip at the start i also don't know in what order i've decided to put try on clips in here because i'm just absolutely rambling 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 ram rambling rambling rubbish about each of the pieces because i'm just too excited to do it in any order um so the first collection again the reason that i bought the purple and justified the spending before christmas was um that I don't have any tops in this shape at all. 
So it's like a halter neck with a cross back over. Ooh. And yeah, I just didn't have any gym wear that was that sort of style. Um, and I have quite big, large shoulders. Oh my God, you can't even see them. So I have like quite big shoulders. So I feel like if it cut in, hello, where's my chest this color? Who even knows? Um, my brain. So I don't have anything that's kind of high neck, but without it being too high neck. So I do have two Gymshark sports bras that were in a recent haul that I did. Gosh, recent. It must have been like September. <laughs> um, but yeah, they like are a bit. They're a bit much, you know. I can't wear them to CrossFit or anything because I'm a bit like. <laughs> but this don't have that problem. And then the back has a cute little crossover. I'm always a fan of the crossover. But this would be my only critique critique of the whole collection across both the sunset and this one. I haven't even worn the other pieces to know that this is going to happen. Um, so with the straps, I don't know what it is because I used to have a bone tee sports bra that matched this as well. I don't know what it is about the straps, but they really cut into me. I don't know if it's because I am so sure I have to tighten them quite a lot that it tends to pull like right down on my traps and I always get, you know, the red marks and it is kind of uncomfortable. Um, uh, so I wouldn't... What well, I wouldn't want. What were you going to say? Nothing. Nothing that would have followed those words. So that would be my only critique. Um, is that they do tend to have quite cutty in straps on them. Uh, from my personal experience. Um, so I imagine it's going to be the same with the blue halter neck that I got. Um, and also with this sports bra. But you know, we'll see when they're on. Gosh, this is like doubled over. You can't even see. But yeah, it's just got the... They are adjustable though, which is always good. Um, but yeah, that's my only sort of, I don't know what the word is, but with the bow and T sports bras and even this being like a halter neck crop sort of thing, that's the only sort of trouble that I have with them is that I find the straps cut in. Um, but yeah, that one's the normal sports bra shape with kind of like a square neck. So I'm excited to see this one on. Hello, I'm gonna interrupt myself at some point i don't know which point of the video this is going to be at um but one thing i forgot to mention was all of the sports bras oh how lovely what a lovely shot of my neck um all of the sports bras and or halter neck crops come with padding so i think from memory the purple top came with nude padding and the black sports bra has come with black padding the blue had nude i don't know about the gray because i didn't get a gray top um but i feel like there needs to be a conversation with designers you know because if you are someone that keeps the padding in like this is not my skin tone it's not skin colored does anyone else just feel like it should be the same color as the fabric like obviously the black came with black and that's a neutral tone and you wouldn't be able to see it through the sports bra because it's the same colour as the material. Do you know what I mean? Like if this stretched out to full stretch, say if it was too, like if it wasn't very thick and it wasn't um, too big for me, would it still show the nude padding underneath? Now you might think that's not a problem, but you know me and my sisters, we both have the same parents and all three of us are white, but all three of us have di completely different coloured skin. Like, Lauren's is really pale because she's got, like, almost ginger skin. And then Beck is, like, more olive-skinned and, like, tans more. And I'm, like, I say I'm green. <laughs> like, I feel like you can see my veins through my skin. Like, my skin is super, super white with, like, green undertones. So, I feel like it would just be better if there was just, if it was just the colour of the material. Like, the same colour of the material. Not, like, a, a blue padding, but, like, you know this colour blue as padding or something like that not just bone tea this is across the board but yeah i just thought i just thought that was an interesting concept thought i would share it you know so i think i said i wasn't going to interrupt myself again but here we are um so one thing to note and i can't speak for the leggings because obviously they haven't come yet but i've just put the gray shorts on and they were a lot tighter, they're fine now they're on, but they were a lot tighter to get on 
than the purple well they're all here <laughs> can you even see they were a lot tighter than the purple the black and the blue so i'm only going to compare them to the blue yeah hey oh wow <laughs> so i was talking about the skin tones being completely different and i tan on my face do you no i don't look the neck yeah. Alright, <laughs> but you're like, I have tan on my face. I was like, mm, you need a new tan. Oh, wow. Here but uh, no, we were just having a conversation about um, before, before I started this clip, um, how para padding, padding for sports bras should be the same colour as the material. So that if it stretches, you can see through, it's the same colour as the actual garment mm -hmm. that you're wearing. But yeah. also that even though things come in different skin tones, like that's not skin coloured. Not for me. It doesn't blend. Not for me. It just doesn't match well, you know. I feel like it should just match the material, but also not a designer, not a clothing production maker. Don't know how you would do that. <laughs> but um yeah, so going back to the shorts. Uh these are a lot tighter to get on than the blue shorts. Um if I my leggings come I'll update the description box to say uh, whether they were any tighter because I didn't notice a difference between the purple, the black and the blue but then as soon as I put these grey ones on I was a bit like oh, that's a bit tight <sighs> right, let's do the normal try on clip um, oh actually do you know what, before I do it <laughs> super, I'm so rubbish, this is why I should prepare an order and then I wouldn't be so mismatched I think mixing the colours would look really cute like, imagine the black oh the black and the purple together you know i feel like that's cute and um at crossfit i know i said i wouldn't do this but at crossfit why did i say at crossfit at training i've got this thing at the minute for wearing long socks like i've absolutely just copied darian but i've bought like really funky socks and i feel like purple sports bra black leggings funky purple socks they say care bears on cool as fuck oh I don't swear on this channel. Cool as... Anyway. Um, where was it up to? Yes, we just said black and purple, but how gorgeous are these two colours together? I'm sorry, what? I can't really hold the camera to show you, but this is a vibe. It's such a vibe. Um, and then the only other sort of negatives that I could think of is, obviously, the logo i'm trying to pick different pieces up for you to see them all with me holding them without the one um it's just like i always think this one on the leggings especially it's such a random placement like it's right in the middle just like on the front but not like at the top but like in the middle you'll see in the clips it's just kind of a, it's just a bit of a strange placement to me but i guess it's different from going on the hip like everyone else um, and then also the only other sort of negative is that it is literally just ironed on and I had a pair of shorts with like a big bow and tee like this in white on the side and in the end it ended up coming off um, and we're quite careful with gym wear as well I don't hand wash it but I put it on like a 30 cool wash and they don't go in the dryer they get hang, hanged up hung up either outside or we have like an indoor washing thing um so yeah that would be the straps on the sports bras and the um labeling not being stitched and kind of being like this iron on sort of sticky logo would be the only two negatives so if that's a no for you then that's a no for you but i don't mind it it's not the worst thing in the world like for the quality as i said before of the legging the fit the contour the compression the colors like i just feel like it's such a good collection and it's definitely right up there as like my favorite gym wear at the moment um i'm gonna do an updated video in march of my top five leggings but i might also do one for sports bras and stuff um so yeah i think that's everything that i wanted to say um hopefully i've got some good clips in there for you guys to see if i've got anything to say when i put them on i'll have included that in there but i was hoping they would just kind of be like try on oh i know what i forgot to say 
I forgot to say something else. I'm wearing a size small in everything across this collection. Um, when I've ordered from Bowman T before as well, I always wear a size small. Um, and then, what else did I want to say? The only other qualm, is that, is that even a word? I feel like I just made that up. The only other qualm that I would have, and this one is Bowman T in particular because obviously I'm reviewing them right now, is I just feel like this is excessive tagging. Like, I don't think this is all relevant. I don't think we need it all. Um, the plastic bits within, the clear plastic, I appreciate the clear, I appreciate the plastic and not big paper tags. However, this is still quite a large tag. And I feel like, I don't take my tags out, but I feel like if it, if it was an irritating tag, or if tags just irritate you as a person in general, having to cut them out like why is it not tear away or maybe it is tear away but i don't want to rip it out to test it <laughs> so if it is tear away then i apologize but i feel like having to cut them out and you know potentially almost rip the fabric at the top you know if you try to get really close to where the label is stitched in i feel like that's kind of risky and obviously this line is also visible on the back of the shorts but that's only if i was going to be like super super nitpicky okay that's what i'm saying um but anyway back to the try and clips because i am just fully been obsessed with this color and i've got blue nails at the minute as well so i feel like it's just like oh so oh i'm so blue i'm so cool toned am i beyond am i beyond cloud i think i am god Oh, I have just remembered one thing that I was going to say about the sports bras. Um, I haven't worn them to CrossFit and I probably won't wear them to CrossFit. I would probably just wear them for strength training and for um, weightlifting because I just don't feel like, as a person who doesn't have very big boobs, I don't feel like I could like go on a run in a CrossFit workout and then do some box jumps or like some burpees in this um these sports bras and the halter neck tops especially because of where they cut down i just the ribbon and supporting them is really good don't get me wrong and if you keep the pads in then it might be better but i always take them out um and i just personally wouldn't feel safe in those sorts of activities you know um so yeah for your usual sort of strength training mobility yoga all that sort of stuff i don't know what you guys get up to um but yeah they're really good for that so on price point as well i just thought i'd include this just at the end everything in the collection is 22 to 30 pounds i think that's it you know it's 22 to 30 pounds for everything so like the sports bras the shorts are like in between those prices and then the leggings are 30 pounds and if you're a student you can get um bone tea discount and olive poly discount so all in all I really wanted to film this video because I genuinely really love the products um, and I love, I just think they're so different to anything else that's in my collection in terms of the material, in terms of the fit, the style of the sports bras, the contouring on the bum, it's all just so different and if you haven't got any of it, in my opinion, you should get at least one piece just to see the difference to what you might already have and I, obviously I would say go with leggings because they're just a staple aren't they leggings are a staple um so yeah thank you for joining me and I hope I've managed to get everything included into this video sorry the lighting's a bit dark I'm always rubbish at lighting but then again you know there's there's more important things in life than lighting and I feel like this collection is one of them um so thank you for joining me i hope you're all having a wonderful day week just just a good start to 2022 you know i just hope you're having a great time um and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye do you want to have your input on megan's collection yes <laughs> what do you think of it it's nice it's nice mm. out of ten Eight point seven. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's Is that not a good rating? I just feel like that's a, such a random number. Yeah, good. I'm gonna be. Okay. Mm. Thanks. No problem. <laughs>